in that one. But, you know, again, I would say if you look at passages from the Course, why would there be descriptions of the, that are in the Course of saying that you will first awaken to happy dreams before you awaken? Why would you put a passage in the Course about happy dreams? Dreams that are purified of all the, the intentions and purposes of the ego, that you just have a, if you're right-minded and you're kind of like in the position of the dreamer of the dream, wouldn't that be happy? To know that you're free, that there's nothing on the screen that, that can influence you or affect you, that can take away your happiness? I mean, to me, that all, that's been my experience in working with the Course. It's been, there's a, a gentle presence, there's an easygoingness about life. There's no more rush involved. There's nothing to defend. There's nothing to prove to anyone anymore. There's nothing to be right about. And there's a lot of peace and joy. That, to me, that that intuitively feels like it, that's the way it would be, and and that's the experience that I have that it is that way. But this is addressing the mind again that believes that it's part of the world and that to give up the world is going to involve some type of cost or retribution or vengeance. Well, it's like, you know, that scenario makes sense to the ego. Yeah. The other scenario makes sense to spirit. Yeah. You know, it's like two versions of the same story. <laughs> two perspectives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very different. That's certainly easy enough to figure out which is which. Yeah. Yeah, the resulting experience or feeling. Vengeance must have a focus. Otherwise, is the Avenger's knife in his own hand and pointed oh, to himself? <laughs> <laughs> Which we had discussed yeah. <laughs> earlier. Same exact <laughs> example. And he must see it in, a, in another's hand if he would be a victim of attack he did not choose. And thus he suffers from the wounds a knife he does not hold has made upon himself. So the, the projection of the guilt is out onto something in the world, even though here where he's using the... It's important to put the knife in somebody else's hand. <laughs> So, you, you know, the old thing of, you fired me, you know, that that hurt, that upset my life, or I got this disease because I was in the, near the Love Canal, or a tornado, or a flood ripped away, or washed away my home, or all the different things that seem to be sources of, of upset that are rooted in the world are just, this is a symbol for it. Of, of giving the knife to another's hand and saying, I am victimized by a person, not myself, or I'm victimized by a world, something in the world, not myself. Or as we shared the example, it's a little more subtle that I'm beating up myself or someone who has a self-inflicted wound. You know, again, it's still something that's, that's taking place out on the screen. The mind still isn't aware that it's a mind. It's believing that if it can believe it can attack itself, it certainly is not perceiving itself as mind. Because mind can attack. There's no attack. Mind cannot attack. This is the purpose of the world he sees. And looked at thus, the world provides the means by which this purpose seems to be fulfilled. The means attest the purpose, but are not themselves a cause. Nor will the cause be changed by seeing it apart from its effects. So those are some interesting lines we might want to look at. And looked at thus, the world provides the means by which this purpose seems to be fulfilled. Everything in the projected world 
<coughs> that is, is perceived, is, that is used to justify the minds holding on to the belief in separation is a means for reinforcing and holding on to that belief in separation. So every time there's a thought, you know, you, you are feeling out of peace and you're thinking about a scenario in which maybe you didn't get your way or maybe somebody seemed to do something to you or treat you unfairly or so on and so forth. That's just like a memory. That's a memory of images. And whenever those, those memories of images, those, that scenario is called upon as justification for the feeling of upset or, or attack, then it's being used as a means to hold on to the belief in a separate identity. Now the stepping stone, again, would be to, to let go of the, the purposes of everything, of starting to see that there's nothing in any of those scenarios that, that is the cause of my upset. And the stepping stone would be to say, okay, I want a different way of looking at the world where the body and the world and all the seeming objects in the world are given over to the Holy Spirit and used for another purpose. So as a stepping stone you could say that the body has two purposes, the Holy Spirit's purpose and the ego's purpose. Really what it comes down to much, much deeper than that is that there's just two perceptions of the world and that in the perception of the Holy Spirit, nothing in the world is used to justify attack, the belief in separation. It's not like that the body really has a positive use. That's just a symbol or, or a metaphor or a stepping stone to coming to see that nothing in the world, you know, is can be used to justify the belief in separation or attack. A lot of times people will, will want to just use the metaphor that the body has has use, <coughs> we'll say, as communication, as a communication device. And they maybe will have ideas and they'll say, well, in that sense, it's important to protect the body, and it's important to take care of the body, and it's important to do certain things to the body because it's a communication device, and you've got to take care of your communication device. But the whole point of the Course is to start to see that the whole perception of the world that you think you see with, through the body's eyes is false. In that sense, you could think of not only the body is like a means, but really the miracle is the means of the Holy Spirit. And again, that's, that's pulling it away from thinking. First you could say, well, the body is like a means, but then the miracle is, goes even beyond the body to the whole perception of the world you see, you can see in a miraculous way. And that's the means of waking up. And what is a miracle? You know, the way the Course defines a miracle, it says, a miracle does not create nor really change at all. It merely looks on devastation, the cosmos, and reminds the mind that what it sees is false. It's a reminder that it's false. It's not like it has a positive, you know, meaning. What's that line in the Course about the body is the concretized form of fear? Is that what it is? That's more along the lines of what you're talking about. 
I'm just again, it's just saying don't don't get caught on the runs. You know. First of all, early in the course, which is right around the late 90s and early 100s of the first edition, Jesus is coming right out and he's saying, yes, you have two purposes in your mind. The ego uses the body, for example, for pride, pleasure, and attack, and the Holy Spirit uses the body solely as a means of communication. Well, that's early on, and the body is still being described as if it, it is a thing in and of itself. And you know how our discussions have gone into the deeper realms of seeing, coming to the point of seeing that nothing exists in and of itself. But the body is such a highly um, invested image, just like money. We had our discussion on money. The body and money, <laughs> as far as images go, seem to have enormous importance to the mind, because it believes that, the deceived mind believes that the body is its home, and that money is essential for maintaining that home. So those images, the body and money, are seen as not to be nothing, but to be very important. So within that context, when the mind believes in the body and in money, we'll say, for example, it's helpful to talk about them as if they exist in and of themselves. And that's what Jesus does. He talks about the uses of the body for the Holy Spirit and for the ego. He even in the psychotherapy pamphlet, he talks about the uses of money. For the Holy Spirit's plan, he says that it has no cost. And for the ego's plan, he says it has enormous cost. He's still talking about the objects as if they exist in and of themselves. So it's still a, a run on the ladder. But the awareness we're trying to come to is we're, we're trying to come to the idea that the, the most helpful way to use the body, even if you're talking about it as an object in and of itself, is to expand your perception. Remember that line when we were when we had the intensive on the bay where we that was in the search that we did. So I just like use the body to expand the self concept. Is that what you're saying? Use the body as a tool for having a, a much more expansive concept of oneself so that ultimately can be let go of altogether. Well, if we follow it out, even say to use the body to expand perception, you can tell there's a process involved in that. That's still a metaphor. What does the expanded perception show you? I mean, what does the miracle show you? That the false is false. That images are images. That all illusions are the same. You know, that there, not, there is nothing in and of itself. So that you can see that's what we're, that would be like the top of the ladder, is, is just to see the false as false. And you use the body to come to that because of the behavioral component of the miracle? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just saying that that's, that's just an interpretation. In other words, to use the body, you have to believe it has existence in and of itself. You can see where that's, that's an assumption. And so a stepping stone would be to say to use the body to reach an expanded perception. To use money to but reach an expanded I mean, perception. You say to use the body to reach an expanded perception. You're speaking of the behavioral component of the miracle that prepares the mind, as it were. Or recognizing the false as false. Well, no. Again, it's the we can we can come at it from that angle if you want to talk about the behavioral component of the miracle. 